Hi, this is Emma Pass, and in this video, we're going to look at how to copy, archive, and delete your classes. So from your Google Classroom dashboard, this is where any class you're either enrolled in as a student or have created as a teacher live. Um, one nice thing is that you can hold and drag and drop to reorganize these just sort of based on which classes you're accessing most or maybe the order of the day. But oftentimes um, at the end of the year, we're going to want to create new classes for the next year and get rid of the old ones. So a couple of really neat things that you can do with this, starting with being able to copy an entire classroom. So let's say this Google Classroom 101, I wanna use with a new group of teachers. As you can see here on the classwork page, I've already assigned a pop quiz, a homework, an article. I probably have some um, students enrolled in this class. I wanna use all of these same things again next session. And I could just reuse a post in a new classroom, but if I'm doing the exact same assignments in the same order, the best thing for me to do is to just copy this class. So from our dashboard again, there are three dots in the top right hand corner of this class. And you see I have a few options. Second to the bottom says copy. When I click copy, it's going to give me the option to change the name. And maybe I'll just do section two, say copy. Now, this can take a little bit of time particularly if this is an entire semester's or an entire year's worth of work. Um, in those cases, sometimes it can take hours to fully copy the class. In the case of this Google Classroom, I assume it will only take another few moments just because there were only three assignments. Once it's fully copied, as you can see it is now, I open it up and you can see the stream is now clear. There's nothing in the stream. When I go to classwork, you can see all those same assignments are there in the exact same order, but they're in draft mode. So students would join, they wouldn't be able to see these assignments until I go into edit and then I click assign. Once I do that, the assignment will then appear um, and the topic will appear for the students. So you don't have to worry about overwhelming students with the entire semester or year's worth of work in a copied class, because as long as they're in that light gray draft mode, students will not see it. You'll also notice that it's cleared it of people. It's totally empty and ready for your new class. So that's how you copy a classroom. Now that this classroom is copied, I maybe don't want to use my first section anymore because I'm totally done with it. If that's the case, I can go to those three dots and I can archive the class. It'll give you a little uh, notification about what this means. It will mean that participants in that class will no longer have access to it and nothing can be modified until you restore it. So I'll go ahead and click archive and you can see it's now disappeared from my dashboard. However, maybe I wanna access a piece of work or a student needs an old piece of work and I wanna restore that class. I can go back to my main menu Scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see I have an option to look at my archived classes. There's that archived class that I just sent in here. Um, it's kind of distinguished by these horizontal lines. And if I want to restore, I just click those three dots and I say restore. And then it will pop back up into my dashboard and I have full access to it again. You'll also notice here that there is an option to delete this class. This will permanently delete it. Everything will be gone and it will no longer be able to be accessed in the future. I really don't recommend ever deleting it because storage isn't an issue in Google Classroom. You can keep these archived classes in here forever. Um, but if you're the kind of person who doesn't like long lists of archived classes and you want to keep things really neat, that is your option for deleting. Again, I don't recommend uh, because you never know what you might want in the future. So I recommend just archiving because you have that opportunity to restore. So once I clicked restore, I can go back to my classes, ta-da, and there's that Google Classroom 101, just as it was before, unfrozen. Anyone in that class will now see it on their dashboard again, and they'll have their full access back. So that is how to copy, 
archive, delete, or restore classes in Google Classroom. For more EdTech tips, tutorials, and lessons, you can visit my website, empowerededu.co, or find my teacher's paid teacher store, Empowered EDU. See you next time.